Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and today I'm going to show you how to create a joined view of two different SharePoint lists by using the Link Sources feature in SharePoint Designer in the Data View web part. In this example, I have a regular SharePoint calendar, and when I create new appointments in the calendar, I pick which vendor um, that I'm going to have this appointment with. So you can see that I have several different appointments that I've added already where I've selected who the vendor is. Well, I can click on the vendor's name and get um, more information about them and their phone number, but I would like to be able to have a view of this calendar that will show me a list of appointments with the vendor's phone number in the same list of the appointments without having to um, have those extra clicks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into SharePoint Designer and create a linked source. So in your data source library in SharePoint Designer, click to create a new linked source. And in this case, I'm linking my appointments and my vendors. Click Next, and I'm going to do a join. So I'm joining the content because they have one common field, and that's the vendor name. I'm going to head and give it a name. And now in my new link source, I'm going to show the data. I'll go ahead and put the title, location, start time, end time, and the vendor's name. Insert those as a multiple item view. And then the next thing I want to add is that phone number column. So I can quickly look at a list of all the appointments and be able to immediately call that vendor and not have to type the phone number in more than one list on my site. So I'm going to go just insert a column in my table. Call it telephone. And in the cell is where I'm going to put that vendor's telephone. So I go down to my vendors, you see this is my vendors data source in here, and find that phone number field. There it is. And the trick here is I'm going to insert the selected field as a joined subview. So when I do that, I am prompted to pick the fields that are joined together. So I have vendor field in the appointment which is linked to the full name field in the vendors list. And voila, there is that particular vendor's phone number. Now I can take this little business phone field that it inserted and I don't really need that. I can just select that whole cell and remove it. Save my file. And let's see what happens when I go preview it. Where did I put that? Let's see, I have a, I put it as a, I created it as a web part page. I called it join. And then, as I always do, whenever we create these data view web parts on a web part page, then you could take that data view web part, export it, and then put it where on your site that it needs to be displayed. But here's the end result. So I have a list of the calendar appointments, and I've picked a vendor for each appointment, and then there immediately is that vendor's telephone number coming from the other list. Thank you for watching.